Hi everyone! You might not recognize me with my glasses on, but this is Mrs. Hamilton. I bet you didn't even know that, but Mrs. Hamilton wears glasses. Some of our friends in our class wear glasses too. I wear these things called contacts in my eyes most of the time, but I am out of contact, so I am wearing my glasses today. And I have a book for you. They'll help me read the words to see the book a little bit better, these glasses will. My book is all about the rainbow colors, and it's kind of a funny story about how these crayons here saved the rainbow because the rainbow went away and took all the colors with it. So we'll learn a little bit more about that when we read this story. But at the end, I have a little bit of a challenge for you to see if you can find all the rainbow colors that they talk about in the book. One of the last things we did before we got out for school was we talked all about the rainbow because it was close to St. Patrick's Day. And we made a rainbow with watercolors, if you remember that. We watched a couple videos about it and we got to learn some super cool stuff about the rainbow. So today's book is called How the Crayons Saved the Rainbow. It is written by Monica Sweeney, illustrated by Veronica Parker Thomas. So let's read about the crayons and the rainbow. All right, the sun and the clouds were best friends. They worked together to keep the earth warm and gardens growing. But all of the things they did together, their very favorite was making rainbows so that the whole world was colorful and happy. Then one day, the sun and the clouds had a big fight. The clouds were blocking the sun and the sun couldn't shine through to the earth. The sun went sizzle, sizzle, sizzle at the clouds and the clouds went clap, bang, boom, back. They stopped being friends and were never in the sky together again. So we kind of learned about how the sun and the rain, when the water shines through it, that's what makes the colors of the rainbow. So if they're never in the sky together, then can there be any rainbows? With the sun and the clouds far apart, it was scorching hot on some days and damp and cold on other days. And most of all, there were no rainbows. Without rainbows, the flowers, streams, and even cities started to lose their color. Soon, the earth was black and white. How boring would that be? But in one little town, in one little school, in one little desk, there was one little forgotten about box of crayons. And the crayons still had their colors. The desks rattled, shook, clamored, and clanked. All of a sudden, it toppled over and the box of crayons tumbled out. The crayons started to search for colors. They raided marker bins, tore through art projects, and everything as far as they could see was only black and white. So here's them talking. It says, who made all the colors go away? What about daffodils and butter? This is so sad. This is terrible. If oranges aren't orange, do I even exist? The crayons looked out the window. The sun was all the way to one side of the sky looking angry, and the clouds were all the way to the other side looking gloomy. I miss all the colors. We can't even draw rainbows together now. Wait, that's it. We need to save the rainbow. So the crayons started drawing little rainbows all over town, but nothing happened. The sun and the clouds didn't seem to notice. We have to make our rainbows bigger, Violet said. Working together, the crayons drew and scribbled. They made the biggest, brightest, most colorful rainbow the world had ever seen. You see, if you look closely, the sun, he is noticing that pretty rainbow. And so is the cloud. Ever so slowly, the sun perked up and the cloud floated back closer to look. The sun and the clouds both peered down, admiring the giant rainbow that the crayons had drawn. What bright colors, said the sun. It's incredible, said the clouds. They looked at each other with great big smiles. The sun said to the clouds, remember when we used to be together all the time and make rainbows? The cloud nodded. I'm for sure going clap bang boom at you. I'm sorry for going clap, bang, boom at, boom at you. I'm sorry for going sizzle, sizzle, sizzle at you, said the sun. 
It's better being friends, said the sun, and the clouds agreed. They hugged. The sun shined brightly, and the clouds misted happy rain. Ever so slowly, rainbows reappeared near and far, turning the world colorful once again. That's a pretty picture. The end. So that was a pretty great story about how those that sun and that cloud, even though they kind of got in a fight, they worked it out and they were able to come back together, be friends again, and make beautiful rainbows. So here on the back, it kind of shows you the different colors of the rainbow, and there are a lot of them. In school, we kind of talk a lot about which one's our favorite. And Mrs. Hamilton, I really like that blue. Blue is my favorite color. But what I have for you today is kind of a scavenger hunt. Have you ever done a scavenger hunt before? They're kind of fun. It's where you go out and look for things. You might have went out and looked for eggs as an Easter scavenger hunt. But today, I want you to go on a rainbow scavenger hunt. If you can, look around your house. I'm sure there are a lot of colorful things around your house. I found some fun things to show you. So let's start off with red. So I went out and I looked and I looked and I looked and I tried to find something red. And you may have seen it in one of my other videos. I have this red marker that I like to use. So here is my red item. So we'll start off with red. I'll, I'll show you at the end, them all lined up together. And then the next color is orange. Now this was kind of silly because I had a hard time finding something orange. So I had to go down to where my husband works and he works with wood and he works with saws and he does things like that. And sometimes he needs one of these. Have you ever seen these before? It's squishy. It's an ear plug to plug your ears if you're gonna work with something that's really loud. It keeps your ears safe, but it is orange. So here is my orange thing. So I have my red marker, my orange ear plug, and then the next one's yellow. Now I found a couple yellow things because yellow is kind of easy to find in my house. I found a yellow pencil. And this is, it's kind of yellow, it's kind of green. It's my dog's tennis ball that they like to play catch with. One of my dogs, if I throw it, she can even catch it in her mouth. That's a cool trick that she's learned. If you guys remember, I have two dogs, Oscar and Olive, and they're very curly haired Cocker Spaniels and they like to play catch. So I found one of their toys that was yellow. And then sometimes Mrs. Hamilton likes to eat a treat. And one of my favorite things to eat is this candy right here. It's a Reese's and it is actually my yellow and my orange item because, well, it's orange and yellow. I have it, it's kind of mixed up. It's there in the middle because it has some orange and some yellow. And this is one of the really yummy things to eat. So I'm gonna put that with my yellow and my orange. So I had red, orange, yellow, green. Now I had to look kind of hard for green and I found a couple different green things too, just to give you an idea, because green can kind of be in all different colors. First off, my wall behind me is kind of green, but I also found this green folder. So it's like a, it's like a folder to hold information, but it is green. So next is the green folder. My other green thing that I found is my daughter, Joella. She drinks out of cups that look like this. It's a sippy cup and she has a green one. So there's my green item. And then let's keep going. Blue, now I told you my favorite was blue, so I actually found a couple blue things. I found this shovel that's blue. If you ever get hurt, you might know what this is. It's an ice pack. It's an ice pack. You might have one at home. When you get hurt at the school, they put ice in a bag, but this one is little beads that when you freeze them, they don't get too cold. They just get cold enough to make your wherever you got hurt better. So I found a blue ice pack. And then I also found some blue flashcards like we worked on with math the other day. They were blue. So that's gonna go with my blue stack. Lots of blue stuff, probably cause I like blue. I'm even wearing a blue shirt today. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Now indigo. Indigo is kind of a tricky one. It's a darker blue color. So the darker blue, this is kind of the lighter blue, kind of in the middle. This was my dark blue, and it's a speaker that I use to listen to music, because I really like to listen to music. So this speaker is a darker blue, kind of like indigo. And then the last one here is purple, and I think some of our friends' favorite color was purple. Now my purple item is a little bit silly. I showed you this cup. My daughter, Joella, she likes to drink out of this one, but one of her favorite things is dinosaurs. 
she really likes dinosaurs. Only when she says it, she's not quite big enough to say the words really good like we can. She says, dinosaur, And she thinks that dinosaurs are really cool. So she has a dinosaur cup, kind of like her green cup, only it's shaped like a dinosaur. And it was purple. So of course I had to grab this one because to show you this silly cup that she drinks out of, this dinosaur cup. So I'm gonna flip my camera around and show you all the cool stuff. All right, so we had red, orange, and that one was a little orange too, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple. And so my challenge for you is to see what colorful things you can find in your house. Maybe you can find silly stuff like Mrs. Hamilton. Maybe you've got dogs that have really colorful dog toys or little sisters or little brothers that might use some colorful things for them too. You could even use crayons. You could make a rainbow out of your crayons. So that's your challenge, sending you on a scavenger hunt to see if you can find all of these colors of the rainbow at your house. Take a picture of it, send it to me, and I would love to see what colorful things you've got